Hey everyone, Brendan Sander here, how are you? Thanks so much for joining me and welcome to another episode of Scores from the Record Store. So for me, this is my holiday weekend here. I'm taking off all next week uh, into the Thanksgiving holiday and I like to kick off my holidays with hitting up the record store. So I went down to Princeton Record Exchange, which is a little over an hour away from me, but I did really good. I got some great stuff in here, whole bunch of CDs. I got, uh, I think, 14 CDs and one record, so lots and lots of cool stuff. And I wanna go through it all with you guys, show you what I got. Uh, we'll do that here in just a bit, but before I get started, if you're new to my channel and haven't already hit the subscribe button, please do. Also leave a comment, hit like, all those things do help support my channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. And of course, as an added bonus by turning on notifications, you're gonna stay up to date on really cool videos just like this with scores from the record store. And as far as this is, you know, goes, like I said, I went to Princeton Record Exchange. I have made a let's go to the record store video for that, which is gonna to post tomorrow. So you can see the cool scores here today, then tune in tomorrow to actually see the experience of going to it and stick around to the end because I still have a few things in there to show you that aren't gonna be shown as part of this here. So trying to uh, you know break it up a little bit and give you guys some extra added content due to that. But let's get into this because these were some cool things. So in the end of the day, I actually kind of broke it up between some new product and uh, some used product. And I'm gonna start with the new stuff. First and foremost, I couldn't get this from Amazon, and when I saw it there, I had to pick it up. But the brand new Beatles single on CD, Now and Then, it's two tracks. Did cost 10 bucks just for two tracks, but that's the way that it is everywhere. But I was glad to see that finally there is a CD single of this, and I don't have to shell out for the seven inch, or the 10 inch, or whatever other versions there are of this thing, I can get this. So I got that and immediately canceled my Amazon order. Um, I found a, I guess it's a used copy, but still new because it just came out in 2023. Public Image Limited and End of the World, their brand new album, which I liked when it came out, but just not enough to pick it up. But at $5.99, totally worth picking up. So I was glad to see that. Recently got into this band called Spin Adrift. And this is an EP that's got uh, two new original songs and six covers. So eight songs came out in 2022. Um, don't know again much about the band other than their latest album, really, really good. Uh, the guitar playing on it and lead work in there is what drug me in or pulled me in on it. So finding this was nice because um, I, uh, you know, I hadn't seen this stuff in the stores other than the one that I had picked up and, and I love coming across something like that that I can uh, you know add to the collection from a newer band. And then this, I'd seen that this came out and I don't know why I didn't really hone in on it other than it's a live album, but it's done really well. Sherinian Phillips, so that's uh, Derek Phillips and uh, I forget the first name of uh, uh, Simon Phillips. Derek Sherinian and Simon Phillips. So doing a live album, and I don't know who the other two guys are. They're featured pretty prominently on the cover here, but I do like instrumental albums and I like progressive rock and that's where this stuff falls. So I saw this and you guys know, I always wear my headphones when I go to the stores and I love to be able to look up and check things out because, you know, when I saw this coming out, it didn't click with me at the time, but when I listened to it today, it did. So that went right in the cart of things. And then this one I talked about in the episode of what just dropped being kind of like a concept album and the way that it is, and it intrigued me a lot, The Kinks, Journey to, uh, The Journey Part Two. And when we flip it over here, you can see that there's title and sort of a description and then a bunch of tracks and title and a description and a bunch of tracks. And when you read through that, it's sort of talking about this idea, this theme that's moving through the album. And the tracks span from throughout their career going back to, you know, at least 65 up to 74. And it, you know, may go go higher, but those are just some of the, the time frames that I'm seeing on this. And there are some new 2023 remixes on here from Dave Davies. 
and I um, think there's uh, some rarities, maybe some B-sides, live tracks, stuff like that. But again, check this out, and it sounded really good to me, so I was very excited about having this as well. And those were the new things that I focused on. Well, actually, let me show you the record too, because I found this and wasn't expecting it, an Oingo Boingo EP, apparently their first one, from 1980 just got a reissue and this is on gray and black vinyl limited to 500 copies so again wasn't expecting this but that was very cool i'm a big fan of oingo boingo so i love finding something like that that uh you know wasn't expecting now i also got some cool uh stuff from the used section although some of this is still sealed in plastic like this t-rex Dandy in the Underworld. Now, I do have a box set of all of these, but it's just the albums. And these are the remasters that have the bonus tracks on them, plus they're in jewel cases, and you know how much I like my jewel cases. So $4.99, even though it's a little bit of a duplication, uh, I don't feel like I'm spending too much money to do that. Plus, I'm getting some bonus material on it. It's on the Chronicles label uh, doing the reissue. They always do uh, you know, very good with stuff like that. So slowly building up my jewel case edition of all of the T-Rex albums. Edgar Winter Collection. This one here is a Rhino Records collection on the CBS label. I have another one of these, but I wasn't too impressed with the track listing and how it went and the flow between it. So I checked this out. I think I'm going to like this one a lot better. Basically, anything from Rhino Records I, I generally like a lot better. I just think the people that are in charge of that and doing that uh, seemingly uh maybe or more like me i don't know because i tune into that a bit more but if i see a rhino records collection i generally like picking those up especially when they're out of print like that one this was a cool score sean and hammer uh, so neil sean jan hammer partnering up doing an album this is a reissue on wounded bird records i have a two for collection because they made two albums on one disc but i never like it when i don't get the original artwork and um, if I have to skip through half the tracks to get to the second album, I don't like that either. So I much, much prefer when I can get the standalone album. And finding that, I was very glad to get it. So excited about that one. And maybe out of everything, this was the, the coolest score that I found. Rick Vito. So guitar player who played with Fleetwood Mac. I also know him as a producer. I've wanted something of his in my collection just to go along with all the other Fleetwood Mac stuff that he did in the later era. This was, I believe, his first solo album. And I think this says 1992 on the back of it here. It's on the Modern Records, which is the label that did all the stuff for Stevie Nicks and some of the other associated artists. So getting that, and I checked this out. This was a whole buck 99. That's always one of the amazing things about Princeton Records is just they've got really, really good prices on their used stuff. Even their new stuff isn't overpriced. Baker Gurevitz Army, one of my absolute favorite projects. I like uh, Adrian Gurevitz, uh, who's the guitar player and singer. And then of course we got um, uh, the guy from Cream, Baker, Ginger Baker in here. And so this is on Esoteric Records. They do such a good job with the reissues. So nice booklet with a write-up and everything. And again, another thing where I have the box set, but it's in the cardboard sleeve, but now I can get it in the jewel case. So I have one more album, and if I get the one more album, then I will have had all of the Baker Gurevitz Army. Um, but I do want to get that one on the Esoteric Records uh, label. And when I bought the box set, it's because they were all out of print. So slowly going back and doing it, and $5.99. So... Found this cool album cover for Gary Moore, Victim of Changes, and or sorry, Victim of the Future. Um, this apparently was the US album cover release. And if you know the other one, the black one with just the triangle on it, that was the, maybe it was the UK or the worldwide release or something. And that's the one I have. But when I saw this, at first I thought I didn't own this album. Then I realized I do own it, but it's a different album cover. I like this album cover a lot better. So I wanted to get this one here. $7.99 again, I feel like I could go ahead and do that, that I'm not, you know, shelling out so much crazy money that by duplicating something at a small price like that, I'm okay with. And the last thing is 
The second days of the new album, uh, I think they refer to this one as the green album, first one being the yellow, third one being the red album, and that's all the band ever did. And I'm a latecomer to them. I did not like them back in the day. Eventually, I bought the yellow album and found out that I really liked it, and I'm kind of hoping the same thing to be the case with this one, and I'm also hoping to eventually find the red album because they're not easy to come by. But all in all, that's the stuff I picked up, so, uh, what was that? Uh, about 16, uh, 14, sorry, 14 CDs and the record. Lots and lots of cool scores from the record store from Princeton. Uh, if you're not familiar with Princeton, I do highly recommend it. Princeton, New Jersey, if you're in the area, definitely check them out. As I said, I have done a Let's Go to the Record Store video on it. It's going to be posting tomorrow. That'll give you the whole experience of everything. And then I've actually got some stuff at the end. Uh, when I talk about it, you'll understand why I kept it separate from this video here. But you get a little bit of stuff there, you get a little bit of stuff here, and in all, you get to see the total 20 CDs plus one record uh, that I picked up from it. All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.